Hi everybody, Mark Michaels here with Cutting Mall Central and we're doing another CHC Spotlight with Mr. Brady Davis. Brady, welcome. How are you doing? Good, good. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, appreciate it. So uh, we wanted to talk about your program a little bit. You're located in Texarkana. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, about how you got started in cutting with with your, your family, obviously. Well, it's kind of a funny deal. If you would have asked me when I was a teenager, I, there's no way I was going to be a horse trainer. Growing up with my dad being a horse trainer, I mean... It was every day, no days off, and I kind of got burnt out a little bit. And yep. go off to college, come back, realize how much I missed it. And it's funny, my dad had a four-year-old smart little Jerry mare uh, that I started showing, and that it was at that point when I started went on her the non-pro. I actually felt confident about doing it, and uh, he, he kind of had some help leave at the time, and I gave him an on-pro card, started helping him, and I guess the rest is history. But uh, it, it was, uh, I'm glad I did it. I'm, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So uh, obviously working working alongside you, your dad, Brett Davis, uh, Hall of Fame trainer, 4A judge, that's got to help your program a little bit? Oh, yeah. You know, we, uh, we go by the term iron sharpens iron. You know, uh, he can watch my horses, I can watch his horses, and we can kind of feed off of each other, and I really feel like that helps us succeed in the show pen. You know, we know uh, how to keep these horses advancing and keeping them confident. So it, uh, it means a lot that we can also do it together, father, son. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and then what about, what are some of the challenges you face working together like that? Well, you know, it's, what I think's cool is we work in the same arena, same cow, same mechanical cow, everything's the same, but our horses don't work anything the same. Right. Which I think is the cool thing about the sport, but our opinions can vary on what we think needs to be done. And so every once in a while we can disagree on what we think needs to be done, but I think in the long run though it helps us both. Yeah, yeah. it still lets you develop your own style, but yes, still sir. have your dad there to back you up. And, yes, sir. And, and pick, it, pick it apart. Yes, sir. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your program. What, uh, what areas do you mainly specialize in? You know what? Uh, I'd like to say one, but I think all of them. It just really depends on what my people want to do. And, you know, uh, they pay me for a service. So whether it's my 2,000 rider customers or my big time age event customers, I want them to all feel special and included. At the end of the day, we're all here in it to have fun. Mm -hmm. But we also want to be extremely competitive. Uh, I don't I don't want to walk to the herd feeling like I don't have a shot to win it every time I go. So uh, we try to have fun, but at the same time be competitive. And I want everybody in my program to feel included, whether it's weekend or age event people. Yeah, and I mean, you've, you've had some success in, in all areas, both on the weekend side and in the age event side, just here at the Ike currently. Uh, you know, you just uh, come off a win there in the Limited, mm -hmm. and now uh, Lindy just went, went and did good in the, in yeah, the amateur Yeah, 221. Here, going into the finals, so, uh, so that part of your program is pretty stout right there. Yes, and you know, to me, like the age event por portion of it, it's, it's probably more prestigious because that's you, the top of the line horses, so that probably means a bit more, but I've hauled the last two years in a row, so that World Finals buckle also means a lot to me. Uh, uh, as well so I just like to go we like to go show and be competitive on any level yeah for sure so what's a horse maybe uh, that's come out of your program that you've trained and shown that, that made a big impact I, you know I always go off like that the first horse you know that you've gone and gone and done well on and the first time I made the uh, limited fraternity finals was a smooth as a cat mare that I picked out in the gala sale as a yearling I from the very first saddle to the very first time we showed her, it was all me, and ended up finishing good in the finals. That one, that one meant a lot to me. And then one that um, that mare luxury, which I was reserved here at the at the Cotton Stakes a couple of years ago, I felt like she was the first horse that really got me in the winner's circle and, and uh, kind of got my name uh, yeah. tossed around. So uh, that one meant a lot to me also. I didn't train her, but uh, I got her early on in her age career, and she was special to me also. Right. Yeah. So uh, what are uh what are some things maybe that, uh, that people don't know about you? You know what? Uh, you know, growing up, I played a lot of sports, and that was one reason. I never, I wasn't a youth kid, so I, I, I think I have, uh, I won one check in the youth. It was $9.81. I'll never forget it. <laughs> and, uh, and they had to pretty much drag me into the show pen. Uh, I mainly played baseball, and right. so uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people would never thought I'd ended up being a horse trainer, you know. Yeah, so a lot of sports background. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So being on the road, what, uh, what's your go-to fast food? Well, you know, uh, I'm a sucker for some jack-in-the-box tacos, yeah. but see, my wife, she graduated college with a dietitian degree, so that is a hard, it is very hard to come across some jack-in-the-box tacos. <laughs> Takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> yes, <me>. so uh, <laughs> it's a little tough to, to stop by the fast food restaurants. <laughs> Do some solo drive. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Uh, what are, what are some of your favorite shows that, uh, that you go to? You know what? Obviously, the Futurity is most likely going to be everyone's number one, but some ones that probably stand out to me um, are shows like um, Augusta, the Augusta Futurity and the Congress up in Ohio. Just because 
that's the places I can go show, and there's actually like a packed house. Mm -hmm. And uh, normally you don't get that unless it's the finals in Fort Worth. And right. it's cool that you, you kind of, I've, I've never signed autographs before until I made the Mercurial finals at the Congress. And yeah. so that kind of atmosphere, it, uh, it Augusta, the, you're always getting interviewed by the newspaper. You just kind of feel like you're honored people there. You know, they're, they're really excited to have you there in cutting, and it means a lot to them. And uh, so that that's kind of cool to me. Yeah. What about uh, a show maybe that you haven't been to yet that you've kind of got in the back of your mind that you'd like to go to? I'd right? love to go show at South Point in Vegas. Uh, you know, it's just it's such, such a far distance for us, so um, I need a, probably a full trailer load to make it worth right. my while, but I've always wanted to go show there. I love to watch those Mexican steers work. They look like it'd be a lot of fun to work those. I think you'd really enjoy it out there. It's a fun place to show. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so what... Uh, have you got anything new happening or uh, plan new things in the works? You know what? We're just trying to just keep growing our business. Um, we just hired some new help, so I feel like we're on the up and up. Um, just trying to keep being consistent. I think it from an up and coming, up and coming uh, trainer, that's the name of the game, being consistent. You know, you don't want to have some good runs and, you know, you don't look very consistent in the show pain. You want to keep very um, – calm and just very competitive at all times no matter if it's here or fort worth or at the weekend age event level you want to be very consistent yeah so with all the all the talk and, and all the new classes um you know in, in the age events the, the limited talk about how that has helped your program being able to show in the limited well first off you know up and coming guys very rarely are we going to have a rolls royce or a dual race so right. uh we need an avenue to show these age event horses especially for me i have a, a, a large amateur clientele and so um, it's an opportunity to get these horses in there and be competitive and also get that horse ready for my amateurs And also it's not you know a $2,000 entry fee It's probably a little bit cheaper and, and you get to cut for a you know a nice purse But at the end of the day I feel competitive and then I make sure that my amateurs feel competitive because their horse has been shown in that pen in that environment Yeah, okay. Well listen congratulations. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Wishing you all the best and uh, we'll see you down the road. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you